should be money. Oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> The YouTuber that I'm going to nominate to receive this tackle box next is going to be Yo, Yo my boy Mike, what you doing? Good, good. I got two questions for you really quick. I'm going to hit you with it really fast. So what is your favorite bait of all time? Nothing beats a topwater frog. Topwater frog. That's a good choice. I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm actually building a tackle box for my channel. And I want to know your opinion. Like, what do you think I should put in it? I was like, I'm gonna call my boy Mike and uh, see what his favorite bait is and see what he thinks I should put in the box. So if I had to pick one lure to put in this tackle box, what do you think it should be? Do you have any top waters? Like frogs? Oh, uh, yeah, I, dude, we could, bro, we could run a frog and I and I love a frog. So I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, down. That's, that's something like that, dude. That'd be, that'd be sick. Yo. Yeah, you can't know it, man. You don't make me miss the pot out here. What are you doing, dude? Bro. What you doing, you sexy boy? Dude, oh my God! What are you doing? You got it. Dude. <laughs> Shut up, dude! I already listen, Ryan. I already know you. You're just pulling my chain right now. You know what's so funny about this is I called you another time and you were catching a fish, so I kind of believe you at the same time. But no, dude, I'm, I'm for real. Shut up, Ryan. Listen, bro. All right, I know you're going. You, it's a crazy situation right now. I know I called you at the wrong time, but I got two questions for you, bro. Two, two quick questions. So, one, what is your favorite bait of all time? <sighs> of all time. <laughs> Big juicy worm, man. So I'm building a tackle box for my channel. What, what what do you think I should put in there? I was gonna ask you what your favorite bait is. Do you think I should put a big worm or do you think something else? Big worm would be fire. Big worm. You know what, you know what I think you put? Yeah, no, yeah, big worm, big worm, big, big worm. worm. All right, all right. Big worm. Well, I'm gonna let you go, man. I know I caught you at the all wrong right, time. Right. Oh, 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 he's got another bite. Got <laughs> 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 young Ado. Yo, young oh, Ado, what's what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Uh, so so I got. Uh, did I catch you at the right time? Yeah, dude, I'm just fishing right now. Dude, you're not gonna believe this stuff. Can I show you something real quick? Yeah, yeah. Are you frozen? Oh my god, young A Dub's frozen. It's not good. Look at it. You see? Ew, what is th Oh, dude, I can't. <laughs> dude, it, it, it literally flashed up and I had poor connection. What is that? That is not a snake, bro. It's a snake. That bro. is. Dude, that is not a snake, bro. It's a snake. Oh, no. Bro, you got some, what is that, sour cream and onion dip or something? Some French dip. All right, all right. You know, besides the fact, I, I don't know what's going on because I called Ryan a second ago and some weird stuff's just happening, but what is your favorite bait of all time? It was definitely going to be the chatter donk. Those two baits are Ooh. like staples in my tackle box. I like that. You, you know I like the chatter donk. You know, that's like a must have. I like it. I like it. All right, we're going to do the chatter donk. A-Dub, I, I can't hold you any longer. I don't know what the heck you're doing with that crazy snake, but you, you better you better give me a call back later. Let me know what's going on with that. But yeah. I'm about to go catch some big fish, man. I'm going to make a big tackle box. I'll give you a call later, though. we got to get the gloves on today. We're actually about to walk into Walmart, guys. We have a bunch of cool things coming. This video is actually, we're going to be creating a tackle box. And I'm going to be shipping it around to different YouTubers. We're going to get everybody involved on this one. So we're going to make the tackle box today. We're going to go out. We're going to catch some fish. We're going to add some lures to it. Ship it out to the next YouTuber. If you guys are curious about that, make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be saying who I'm going to be sending this to. I'm going to also write him a little special note and get it in the mail. And we're going to be sending this whole tackle box around to a bunch of different people so i'm very excited about that if you guys are new to the channel please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content let's go ahead and get in walmart see what tackle they have get a tackle box go back to the house build the thing catch some fish and ship it on to another youtuber let's get it started right, guys this is weird man i'm this this whole thing i just wanted to say something to everybody watching I know this is a tough time and there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on in the world, but I want to send a message out to all you guys and, you know, I, I just keep working hard, keep doing your thing, keep that positive energy going. In this time of day and, and everything that's going on right now, it, it can be stressful um, and I hate, I hate it that, you know, a bunch of people are getting sick and all that, but the best thing that we can do is stay positive, work together as a team and, and get through this and, and keep doing your thing, man. Don't get unmotivated. 
Don't be just laying around the house, you know, do your thing, do something that motivates you. If you guys can go fishing, you know, get out and go fishing. That's so important, man. I, I think it can get your mind off a lot of things. I understand that some of you guys can't fish and I hate that. I really hate that. But if you can, get out in the outdoors, enjoy the outdoor life and obviously stay safe. But we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> this is crazy, man. <laughs> this is honestly crazy. I, I gotta get a little gloves on too. I, people with masks on, this is just a whole nother, it's, it's crazy to me. Let's go ahead and get in the fishing section. Let's see what they got. Hopefully they're not sold out. You know, they're sold out of everything. They're sold out of toilet paper. Look at that tackle box right there. I kind of like it. It flows with the, look at that big bass. Image. You got the green on and everything. That's a pretty cool tackle box. This is going to be shipped off to everybody. So we're going to just load this thing with a ton of different baits. And you guys got to know by the time this gets to like the sixth, seventh, the tenth person of this challenge when it goes around to the YouTubers, um, we're going to have somebody give it away to one lucky winner. Look at this. We can absolutely fill this thing with a bunch of different baits. We got some little suggestions. Oh, that was close. We got some, some suggestions from other YouTubers at the beginning of the video, so I think that's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna also pick up some lures, but what do you think about that? I think that's a dope little fishing kit. I think it would be, you know, we could do something basic, like with a little Plano box um, or something, but I just feel like this is like, this is it, man. I feel like this is the kit that's gonna be shipped around between a lot of people. It's gonna be really good. I feel like it's more interesting than just a little tackle box. People went a little crazy. They went out, bought all the toilet paper, and there's a good bit of fishing tackle. But let me tell you, look at this right here. There's a good bit of stuff sold out. I'm, I'm surprised. Let's go ahead and just start grabbing, man. So we have these culprit. These are like 7.5 inch worms. I feel like we can go bigger than that. And I feel like that. I feel like there's definitely something bigger. Power bait, util worm. I think the 7.5 culprit is gonna be the go. What do you guys think about this? We're gonna go with the June bug. 7.5 inch culprit worm. We also talked with A-Dub. A-Dub said he loves chatterbaits. We're gonna be loading them up. By the way, none of these people know that we're doing this. No, nobody knows that we're gonna be shipping this around to everybody. I just called them out of surprise. So it's gonna be really fun when they actually receive the box. There's gonna be little notes in it. And it's just gonna be a fun deal. Right here, right here. We, we're doing two. We're doing two chatter dunks. We'll put the white there. What did Mike say? Mike's favorite bait. What is my, Mike's favorite bait? Frog, frog. He said he loves frogs. We're gonna hop into the frog right here. Let's see what they got. Hopefully they're not sold out. They're all, they're out of frogs, man. They're out of frogs. I'm very surprised about that. I think what we're gonna do, I actually have my frog box in my truck, I believe. Do I have it in my truck? I might not have it in my truck. Should I cut off my lucky frog? I have a lucky frog. Son of a biscuit, man. I'm, I'm in a situation. If they had a pop and pickle, this would make it a lot easier. We're gonna find what we have. With the frog, we'll hold off on that. We'll wait till I can dig in my truck and see what I can find there. Let's go ahead and grab a spinnerbait, though. We'll grab a Booyah spinnerbait, Colorado blade. Black buzz bait. Ooh, right here. Let's grab some flukes. I've been killing them on flukes. We got some white flukes right there, bubblegum flukes. That'll be cool. They didn't really have a huge selection here, but we are gonna get this tackled. We're gonna go back to my car and we're gonna dig up a bunch of different stuff that we can use. Um, I feel like that'd be good, but we're gonna go ahead and check out. I think this is gonna be the tackle kit. I think that's actually perfect. Got a handful of stuff right here. We'll be adding a ton more baits that I can find in my truck and we'll have more of a variety. So let's go ahead and get to the house. So we have all the lures laid out on the table that we're gonna be putting in the box today. I'm super excited for this. We have a ton of baits that we're gonna be putting in here. Each YouTuber that it goes to after this is gonna put even more baits into this tackle box. And you guys just gotta stick around till the end of the video so you guys know who I'm gonna be handing this tackle box off to next. So we got a ton of different baits right here. We bought a lot at Walmart, spent a lot of money. I also went out to my car and grabbed a lot of six cents baits. We got a bunch of soft plastics. We got a bunch of lipless crank baits. We got a square bill, a frog right here because we know First State's favorite lure is actually a frog. So you know we're gonna have to throw that in. We got some chatter donks from my boy A-Dub. We got the big worms that my boy Ryan said at the beginning of the video that he loves and enjoys. And also, I have a freaking rat that's gonna be going in here as well. So that's gonna be interesting. I'm really excited to see if someone's gonna be able to catch something on that. And maybe we'll even catch something on it today. So we're gonna go ahead and open this tackle box up right here. We're gonna see the room that we have to work with today. And look at that right there. So we have three different trays right here. These are gonna be perfect to set the hard baits in. And then in the bottom, if you wanted to store some of the soft plastics, I feel like this would honestly be perfect. Let's go ahead and test it out real quick. Just throw like just about all the soft plastics we have. 
look at that. You close the tackle box and you can kind of store them in the bottom just in case, you know, we didn't want to take these out of the bag. Let's go ahead and crack open some of these baits right here and load them right here in the tackle box. See how it's going to look today. I'm so excited, man. This is going to be so much fun. And I hope the other people are going to enjoy this as much as I am. I want to get you guys involved on this. I want you guys to comment down below. I want you guys to go build your own fishing kit and more importantly, follow this series so you, one of you guys can end up winning this good thing. So we have all the baits in the box right now, except for the soft plastics, which we I think we decided to go ahead and put them in the bottom. I think it's gonna leave a little more room in the box. We got a freaking ton of baits right here. They're not exactly assorted the way I would assort a tackle box, but we wanna have a big variety in this. So right here in the first slot, we got us a little hollow belly frog. We have two chatter baits back to back. One, the chartreuse in white, and the other one, which is black. In blue and we have both of those chatter baits right next to each other right there to a little square bill and that's by six cents right there it's a beautiful little color and then the next one we got is a quake that's by six cents as well beautiful beautiful pattern on that one and then the next one is another lipless except this is actually the snatch and that is one of my favorites of all time I think some of the people that get this tackle box they're definitely gonna catch a bunch of fish on that and then we have this neat looking little swim bait right here really cool looking dude lastly an old hybrid jig and that thing catches the donks i think we're going to go out today and try to catch some big fish on that i think that's going to be freaking killer and then what i ended up doing with the buzz bait and the spinner bait is i had this little open compartment i didn't really want to take them out because of the wiring there and it really wouldn't fit the best so i ended up putting the buzz bait right there spinner bait right on top of it and lastly we got the freaking rat and that thing is awesome for all these little soft plastics and we're going to stuff them right there in the bottom of this tackle box just like that then we're going to close the shelf down lock her down boom we good to go right there we got all the baits in there one last step we're going to add a little final touch got a sharpie right here i'm going to be signing this bad boy so i'm going to give it a sign right here i'm thinking right here on the left hand side oh I kind of messed up a little bit, but I think it'd be all right. And every box and every YouTuber that this goes to, you know, I want them to be able to sign it and do that whole thing. But like I said, we're going to mention the name of the person that is going to be going to next at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead, bring this guy out on the water, go catch some big fish. You guys better stay tuned. We have the ultimate YouTuber tackle box right here. I'm going to set it right here. You know, we talked to First State, my boy First State on the phone, and he said his favorite lure was a frog. So this one's for you, brother. We're going to start off this video on a frog and catch a fish on it real quick. Let's see if we can make it happen. Let's go ahead and get in the water, see if the fish are ready to chomp on it. I'm excited about this. You guys know I love frog fishing. I love the frog bite. Watch out for any gators, that's always important. Hopefully there may be some big ones in here. Come on, fishy. I know we can do it. And beam one up here. Oh yeah, that's money. That's looking really good. Yes. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, he's on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He freaking cremated that frog right there. He, he honestly seems so much bigger when he dove over the top of it. But that is the weirdest looking little fish. He's so short and chubby right there. Look at that frog in his mouth. You gotta love that. That was so cool, man. We're gonna make a couple more casts in here with the frog, but that is awesome to see one munching. Not a big fish. We're gonna keep hunting for those big ones today, but a pretty guy, he's bleeding a little bit. We'll get him back in the water. All right, little buddy, thank you for biting. He almost messed me up there. My problem is with a frog, sometimes I hook set so hard with the frog, so you, you know, you gotta jack him good and my braid gets like all wrapped around, the fish goes flying. That could have been bad really quick. really need to beam that cast ah uh, yeah that's pretty good oh yeah there's a big wake he that's a good fish he's gonna get me in this tree too we gotta coast him good thing i have these big knobs he choked that frog yes dude that fish is the same way as the first one He's like a little hunchback. What? That is so crazy. Look at that bass's head right there. 
It's a little deformed guy, but look how he ate that frog. I got right over there by that tree and he freaking clobbered it. That is so much fun right there. They freaking chomping in here. Let me tell you that it's really shallow and they're, they're liking the frog. Not quite two pounds. He would totally be a two pounder if he stopped growing right here in his noggin. That is a smart fish right there, ain't it? He wasn't too smart because we swiped him on the frog, but it's a pretty guy. That's a weird looking fish, man. Both those fish is weird looking. Toss him back in the water. Thank you, bud. There she goes. All right, so we just caught a couple on the frog. We're gonna open up this ultimate fishing kit right here. I think I know exactly what I'm gonna go with next. My boy Ryan, my boy Ryan loves the big worms. So we're gonna go with this culprit 7.5 inch long curly tail worm right there. It honestly doesn't seem that big when it's bundled up like that, but I'm actually gonna try something different. So this place is very shallow and I already had this rigged up. So I was like, you know what? Why not try it? I'm actually gonna run this thing weightless, which I normally wouldn't do. You know, I'd throw it on a basic Texas rig, but with how shallow it is out here, hopefully we can cast it good. We're gonna give it a shot. I never throw worms like this weightless. So this is gonna be interesting, but these fish seem to be stacked in this freaking corner and I'm excited about it. Make sure I don't make the tackle box unorganized. Go ahead and strap her back up. All right, right there, guys. We got that long worm. This is for you, Ryan. It's for you, buddy. Doesn't have a weight. That's gonna be interesting. Hate to do it to you, Ryan, but I gotta do it. Before I take this hook off and put a bullet weight on, I have something in this box that I think I can swap out real quick. I'm thinking a regular white pearl zoom fluke right there. We're gonna rig this up. See, we don't need this with a weight, so. Maybe we can save ourselves some time and try to catch our fish on this fluke before we go to the worm and switch up and put a little bullet weight on there. I think that'd be perfect. Just gonna Texas rig this bad boy. She is good to go. All right, close that tackle box. This, we're gonna catch fish on this, I know it. I'm gonna try to beam it. I'm gonna beam it far where I, where I caught that one fish off these trees. There he is. He's running. Oh man. Not a bad fish. He actually ate it. Oh my God. Dude, these fish fight so hard. It's only about a pound. Gosh, you were tugging, bud. You were tugging, Jim. Wow. Okay. That's a beautiful little fish. I love the markings on that bass. From the first two that we caught, that is a beautiful little bass. You know, he's got a little orange eye going, beautiful lateral line. All in out a pretty fish. Not a big one, but we're getting somewhere. We're catching them. We're going in the right direction. See you, bud. So we just came to a new spot. I'm gonna cut this fluke off. It's time for the worm. But one thing I noticed, and this is always important, is I have a big fray in my line towards my spool. So we're actually gonna take a good bit of line off this. I think it was when I was like jerking through those trees and just kind of frayed my line. So we're gonna take a little bit of line off this. Then we're gonna put a little bullet weight, which I'll show you in a moment. Let me show you guys the basic rig that we're doing. Just standard little Texas rig. You know, right there, got a little quarter ounce weight. It's actually tungsten. Rigger up on that. Take that fluke off. We'll use the same EWG hook. This is a four aught. I usually stick to four aught and three aught EWGs. Um, if I'm using a smaller crawl, three aught would work a little better. Go ahead and tie this on. I'm gonna tie it on with a uni knot, and then we'll rig that worm right up and then see if we can catch a big one. We've caught a few fish so far, nothing huge, but I can tell you, we haven't even got to the big fish baits yet. And I'm super excited about it. I think we're gonna end up catching a giant. All right, open up our handy dandy tackle box here. Got our old worms, grab a worm right out. We're gonna go right through the head of the worm, all the way up to the end of the hook, break through, push our worm, Rotate it around onto the front of the hook. Then we're gonna align that, just like that. And then we're gonna penetrate where the end of that hook is. We're gonna bury the front of it, just like that. You got a simple little Texas rig. Now we gotta wait, so we're gonna be able to cast that worm. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch one real quick. Yes. What is Noah's luck right now? He just straight up janks my worm, that little scooter. What the heck, I don't even know what I just said. I don't like swimming this thing. It's a little... Yes. 
Yes. Heck yeah. Got the save too, didn't want him to hit the ground. <laughs> That's not a bad fish at all. That's a beautiful little fish. Solid little pound and a half here. What in the heck was that? All right, we gotta get back in there, guys. Look at that pretty little fish. We're gonna get him right back in. There's a lot in this area. We're gonna keep on working it. Toss him right back in the water. That fish, there's a big fish that jumped out there. <sighs> guys, I think we're gonna have to drop the boat in. After hearing that one right there, that one got me all happy, okay? Got me a little happy. And I just keep hearing fish blow up. So maybe we can get on a nasty frog bite. Maybe we can get on a buzz bait bike. So I know we've got a buzz bait in there. Maybe a spinner bait, maybe a chatter donk for Adam. You know, chatter donk for Adam said his favorite base of chatter donk. And he said a shaky head. Maybe that's a go. I caught my fish for Ryan. Caught my fish for first date. Now we kind of get to show, you know, A-Dub a little bit of love too with that chatter donk. So I think we're going to drop the boat in here. I've just heard so many just, like when you, when you just hear that push. Or a fish is sucking down the frog. It's the best noise. I don't care. You guys comment below if you if you guys think you've heard a better noise in your life than a fish going Oosh, eating a frog. That's the best noise ever. All right, so we just got out here on the boat. I just kept hearing that frog bite, and I gotta do it again. I gotta do it to him. I love frog fish. I'm a big fan of it, and I, I just keep hearing them kind of explode like under these laydowns. I thought my frog was gone. I was about to say what in the world. I don't know why they're, they're freaking biting so good in here right now. It might be the time of day, sun's starting to go down. But I'm gonna skip this frog up. Oh, in some of the spots, just like that. That should get munched. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be an interesting one if I get eaten right there. Oh. Did you see that tree move from that fish trying to chase that frog? It looked like that whole freaking tree just moved from something underneath it. Moving. Right there, money. Yep. Son of a biscuit. That is not how it's supposed to go. Let me get right back in there, Jimmy. Oh, snap, that is not what you're supposed to do right there, man. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God, I just skipped that frog and then, oh, he's coming up. He's wake under me. Why are you about to eat it? Point at that before I twitch it. He's about to eat it. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Did you see, he's still under me. You guys want to see something funny? I'm going to keep my frog there. He's still under it. I'm going to flip this jig right in here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Wrong time. Oh my God, I got him. <laughs> Wrong time, Becky. Wrong time. Becky. Wrong time. I don't even know where you're at. Stop calling me, please. Can you stop? Thank you. Thank you. I got him. <laughs> Jesus, what is going on? That is screwed. That is screw lubed and tattooed right there. The fish is still on. What just happened? Oh my God. I just got him on the new finesse jig by six cents. If you guys want to check out my code, I'll pop it on the screen. What in the world just happened? That was so many weird turns and different events right there. Let's just continue to fish. That was really weird, but we're, we're gonna keep doing our thing. It's time for the chatter donk. I love the chatter donk. A Dub loves the chatter donk. It is time for the chatter donk. So, um, what am I thinking? In this clear water, I'm probably gonna go with this white and chartreuse. I just feel that more, more than that black and blue right here. The one thing I forgot to put in the tackle box is trailers, but I did get flukes. That is always a go-to. So we're gonna grab a fluke too. Pair up on the back of this. Or yet. All right. Grab us a little fluke. That's what we'll put on the back of that chatter, chatter donk. Put her back in. Strap her down. I think we're good to go. All right. Now, we're just going to, we going to rig you up to the day, girl. Beautiful chatter donk. Now it is time to tie her on. We're going to tie her on the old Mach 2. We're going to green today. We got the green tackle box. We got everything. We got the kicking green everything, boys.
That should be money. That's a, not, a, not a bad one. <laughs> God, that was awesome. Right off that freaking bed I saw him. That's actually a good fish. It's the biggest one today by far. Yeah. Is he your biggest? Maybe. He's a little skinny. I don't know. He's a long fish. Ah, beautiful one on the chatter donk, though. You got to love that right there on the bed. Just beautiful markings on these fish. That's so much fun, man. So much fun. See you later, Jim. I heard you barking up in there, boy. Where you at? That's going to get munched. I'm calling it. Yep. Never even saw him like. That was so weird. I thought he just messed with it. I think this, I think, oh, little fat guy, little fat guy. You know what I gotta do right now, guys? I gotta do something. I gotta do it. Oh my God, Mike, you answered. Look, I got you a frogfish, bro. Yo, it's on the frog. <laughs> yeah, man, I got him on the frog. That's exactly, oh uh, yeah, we caught, I've actually caught like probably four fish on a frog, man. Oh really? Yeah, I was gonna call you. I was gonna call you with the slaunch in my hand, but sadly I got I got this little Twinkie. But he ate it pretty good. Hey, that's awesome. Yo, there's nothing better, man. Nice top water plate. Your frog fishing is legit. We all know frog fishing is legit. Oh no, I just want to call you, bro. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get back at it. All right. All right. Man. See you, brother. Well, there we go, guys. Had to call my boy Mike. Let him know that I'm catching him on a frog. I think we might. I really want to put it down, but I. I, I mean, I really don't want to put it down, but I kind of gotta pull it. Put it down. You see what I'm saying? Like, I got to catch a chatter donk fish for my boy Adub. That's a beautiful... The colors on that fish are just remarkable. So look at that, guys. You see where his fin, like, doesn't connect there. And he's got, like, a little, uh... Like a little... <laughs> like a little nipple there. Look at that thing moving, dude. That's kind of creepy. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get him back in the water. That was a little weird. Okay. Like I said, I, I really want to stop. Or I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. So A-Dub did us right with the chatter donk. I love throwing a chatter donk, you guys. That's one of my favorite baits. I didn't even know it was one of Adam's favorite baits, so that's kind of funny. But I'm actually gonna put it back in the box and whip out another lure. I wanna keep going on this challenge. I don't, obviously I'm not gonna catch some on every single thing in here, but you know, we'll put that chatter bait back where we found it. Um, I think I got that snatch. Where's that snatch? Right there. Oh my God, I think that's it. That thing will get destroyed. I can already tell you that one right there. First cast, first cast with the snatch. Literally first cast. Those other baits took us a second, but oh my gosh. I knew that was just gonna get destroyed. Now we're messing with trouble. Calm down, Jamie. Dude, that is a thick bass. I will say that his head is freaking huge. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. I just heard a fish in the background. I wanna keep on throwing this. Right there, fish just blew up in front of us. Let's see if we can get him back. See if we can cast this in there. Normally I'd rather throw that frog probably right there, but fish just exploded right there. Oh, yes, yes, no freaking way to snatch. Two casts in a row, two casts in a freaking row. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. You cannot beat that. That fish exploded under that tree. Right place at the right time. That is exactly what you call that. These fish are just chomping. That is unbelievable right there. Oh man, we need the pliers on this one. And what did I say? That snatch has to get munched and it's getting way more, like quicker bites than the other ones. That, that thing right there just kills them. I've caught so many good fish this year. It's a pretty little fish. Keep it going. Oh God, he ate right there. Just... <laughs> mm, time. Wow, what a way to end off the day. That was incredible, guys. I have I haven't had fishing that good, and I can't tell you how long these, we just caught the fish at the right time. They were on bed, they were loaded on the bank. There's so many freaking beds here, and we put a herding on them. So, it is time. The YouTuber that I'm going to nominate to receive this tackle box next is gonna be my boy, First State Fishing. I'm gonna send this over to Mike. Listen, Mike, I'm gonna send the letter inside. You see this little top compartment? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write you a little letter, and I'm gonna leave it in there. You gotta read it out to your audience. And what you gotta do is also sign this tackle box and we're gonna be giving this away at the end of all this. So this is gonna continue to pass along between guys. So you guys need to go over to First Age channel when he drops this video and be sure to watch it and then continue the path because it's gonna be sent on to so many YouTubers and you guys need to watch that to be updated on how you need to win this box. Overall, I had to just
just phenomenal day today. It was such a good time. Another thing is, Mike, you gotta put new lures in, or not new lures, you gotta put more lures. We're gonna load this freaking thing full. Right now, you know, we got a good bit of lures in there, but, you know, we're gonna load this thing all the way to the brim pack it all the way up it's gonna be good but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i think this is a neat way to um collaborate in a different manner if you guys want to see some more collaborations like this let me know this is going to be a banger be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already hit the like button as well and also hit the notification bell i will catch you guys in the next video